Hey everyone, so uh, today's video is going to be a review video and kind of a, a first impressions actually. So um, I did get this stuff from a friend. Um, she sells uh, this product that I've never, I'd never heard of it before and I've never like, I guess it's pretty new. Um, it's called Limelight by, Limelight by El Cone. And uh, let's see. I just figured I'd give it a try. She said it was really good stuff, so uh, I mean, obviously if she's selling it, she believes in it, so um, I was like, okay, you know what, I want to give it a go. So I got uh, the foundation and a concealer and a lip product to try. Um, and if I do, <clears throat> if I'm impressed by these, I might actually add it to my like normal like makeup kit. So I guess with these products, uh, she did say that they are... Um, like, they have more pigment in them than stuff that you can get at a store. So I guess they're just professional grade and they have more pigmentation in them than normal products. So I'm going to give it a whirl and see how it works for me. Let's start, I guess we'll unbox it and I'll, we'll start with the packaging. Um, I do think it has nice packaging. This stuff only isn't cheap packaging. Uh, it really cute. Like, I don't know, it looks artisty and like cool like watercolory um let's see we'll open it up perfect coverage botanical foundation so it has botanicals in it and i guess it has like a bunch of like oils and like good stuff for your skin in it so that's always a plus oh sorry i'm just like throwing shit everywhere also i don't think like i don't even like i'm just <sighs> i was told that you're not supposed to swear in your videos anymore else you can't monetize them. But I don't know if that's true because people are still swearing in their videos and they're still monetizing them. So, fuck it. Alright, if they turn off my monetization on the video, I guess I'll learn my lesson. But for now, whatever. Okay, so this is what it looks like when you open it up. And it's like a little compact in there. It says Limelight by Alcone on it and that is what it looks like. I'm definitely happy with the color that we picked because I, she sent me swatches or whatever because I was like, dude, I can't like tell like online, like sometimes online it's like iffy, but um, she sent me swatches and I was like, okay, we're totally going to go with this one, but this is actually the one like I had picked out before I told her, like, oh, oh sorry, there's a centipede on my ceiling. Oh, those are actually good. Don't kill them because they eat spiders. So I was like, okay, we'll go with this one and I'm actually mm -hmm, like, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. I mean, it's... I like yellow base, and this is definitely more of a yellow base one. Um, obviously, I'm not going to, you know, hold it up to my skin because my fucking face is white and pink. But I prefer a yellow foundation, even though my self-tanner is starting to come off and I look like I have a disease. But that's okay. She said that it's it's definitely thick to put on. So it's like a, it's a waxy, a wax foundation, I guess. And I don't think I've ever used like a wax foundation, but I've used ones that are like really thick. So, um... I guess I'm going to try and do it with a beauty blender. I normally like to put my foundation on with a uh, brush, but I don't know. Fuck it. We'll get it. We're going to give it a go. I don't know. Like, why not? Okay, we'll start. I don't know if it, should I use a dry beauty blender or should I use like a, I don't know. Okay, I'm just going to, I'm just going to dig in. We'll see. Okay, so I'm scraping the top of it. All right, and... We're just going to go ahead and start putting that all over. Holy shit, that has good coverage. Wow, dude. Holy crap. Okay, so as far as the color goes, um, I would normally, my, my uh, self-tanner is usually a little bit more dark, um, so otherwise this would match, but it's just a little, I mean like one shade off from my neck, but pff, I don't care, like my, my self-tanner is wearing off, so. Wow, you honestly, okay, so, the, okay, before I like, I dipped it in again, um, so it covered a lot of surface area on my face before... I started like dipping it in again so it's covered like more than half my face like oh my gosh 
Holy crap. Dude, like, okay, so I am so not one to normally buy, like, direct sales stuff. Um, I used to sell Mary Kay when I was, like, really young. I, I think I was, like, really young. Okay, 18, I think I was, so that wasn't that long ago. <laughs> it was, like, four years ago. Um, but... Uh, I, I'm just not like one to like do that because so they like try so hard to get you to buy stuff and it's just and like to sell it and I'm sorry I'm not gonna sell it like I don't I don't want to sell it like I'm not a direct sales person yes I work in the beauty industry and, but I just I'm not I'm not one to like go to people's houses and be like you should buy this and this and this and like force them into buying stuff and I feel like that's like a lot of times like Mary Kay and like unique and stuff no hate I'm just saying sometimes you can be a little pushy don't be a hater, but, um, the girl who sold this to me, her name's Amanda, Amanda Belden, um, I'll post links, um, for her below so you can, like, order and stuff if you are really interested in this, and to her, like, she has a Facebook page, too, it's Belden Beauty Confessions, I think it is, so, yeah, oh my god, I love this, seriously, oh my god, like, I don't feel like I have, like, major cake face right now, but it's giving me amazing coverage, Holy crap. This is honestly like one of the first times I don't I guess I could have like tried to do half my face with a brush, but I am actually impressed with using just the beauty blender. And I hate applying my foundation with a beauty blender, but this is totally an exception. Holy crap. Wow. Brownie points to you, Amanda, for discovering this. I'm sorry, I'm like kind of just, I'm being like dramatic, it's not like, I'm not trying to like sell this for her or anything, I'm not, I'm just, this is like my honest review and like my honest opinion of this, because I, whew, and she even told me like, she's like, you know, if you buy this and like, you want to do a video on it, um, to be honest about your review, she's like, but I know you're going to love it, and like, girl, you was right, <laughs> you were, oh my gosh, I can't wait to try the concealer now, so I just keep patting my face because like, I just, Oh my gosh. Like, I, okay, I'll show you basically how much I use. I barely put a dent in it. Like, I didn't use much at all. Like, this is definitely going to last a long time. And I see that the compact comes out, so I don't know if that, like... Oh, that's right, because you can order these and you can actually get compacts, like, to fit, like, multiple of these in there for, like, makeup artists and stuff, which I might actually consider doing. I definitely see this as being like a buildable one too like this is like really good coverage but it also like I could totally like see myself like building this off if I want total cake face but I don't even need it Jesus okay okay sorry my hair is like a ratchet mess right now <laughs> it's all over the place now I'm gonna go in with the concealer and give that a go um, we ordered this in the, like the lighter ones like a lighter shade because like I do like to have it lighter for brightening up my under eye and stuff and she sent me swatches of these so I could pick them out so I could kind of like really see what it looks like on skin and okay so same packaging as this it's like the same like little just pops open and that's what I'm using oh I guess I should tell you the shade that I got of this one um this was called what am I? this was called Shinto 2. Shinto 2 is the name of that one. And then this one is called number 2. Like it's just the concealer number 2. So I don't know, should I, how I should put this on? Should I, maybe I'll put it on the same way I used um, that. I'll just get one of my little really tiny mini beauty blenders out wherever I put those. Aha, there they are. baby my baby blender oh and also I didn't my oh shit my beauty blender was not damp by the way it was it was dry so okay there it is mm -hmm. let's see what kind of stuff we get that's this one all right okay so this is a little bit thicker I think than the foundation all right Okay, okay. Definitely brighten up the under eye, but it's blending out, like, seamlessly. Dang, Gina. Huh. 
You can totally, like, you can see the difference. Like, look at how much brighter that is under there. But it's, like, filling in my pores and stuff. Like, my pores look, like, good. They don't look... You know how, like, some of it, like, sometimes the concealers and foundations can, like, settle into your pores? This isn't doing that. I mean, I have huge pores, so, I mean, obviously they're going to show a little bit, but, like, this is, like, filling them right in, and that's without a primer. Holy shump up mackerel. All right, we'll go do the other eye. I like the consistency of this stuff. When she, Cause she messaged me and I told her, I was like, hey, my order came, blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna do a video. And she's like, okay, like just so you know, like the um, foundation is like um, a wax foundation or whatever. So sometimes you have to melt it down a little bit with your skin and whatever. And cause it is thicker and it's really pigmented. So I was like, okay, like I've used stuff kind of like that before. Not necessarily the wax, but like the um, thicker consistency. Oh my God, I like that. And, um, I didn't even really have to do that. Like, it was actually, it melted down on its own. Like, I got some massive zits on my chin right now, so. Oh my god, it's covering them up. Oh my god, I really like this. Like I said, I am usually so, like, if it's not, like, sold through, like, Ulta or Sephora or have their own, like, website where it's, like, nobody, like, sells it. It's just strictly off the website, not a direct sales. I normally don't buy it, but, like, this is, like, hey. No, this is definitely, like, an underrated company. Holy crap. I'm excited to try, like, a bunch of the other stuff now. Like, there's not even, like, I don't know. It's just not, like, bad at all. What the f... I'll highlight a little bit down there. Well, and she even said, like, hey, it might seem like a little dewy on your face at first because um, it does have oils in it and stuff, but it's okay for oily skin, which is totally true because um, I used to use coconut oil on my face all the time, and it actually helped control my oil on my face. I just, I switch, switch my skincare all the time, but it used to actually help control the oil on my face because my skin wasn't, like, trying to produce some. Oh my god, I'm sorry, I just can't get over this. Dude, do you see this right now? Like, I look f***ing good, like, honestly, I don't even, like, I was gonna do the rest of my face, but I don't even know if I want to, like, I just wanna, like, I could totally just go out like this and totally be okay, like, even my eyebrows fucked up and everything, I could totally, this would be okay. Like, it's not enhancing, like, the texture or anything on my face, because I have, like, a lot of texture, like, through here and, like, down here. But, like, it's not, like, enhancing that. So I had an eye booger. This color is amazing. Okay, I can totally see why this is definitely a uh, professional makeup. This is totally worth the price, too. Like, it's really not, honestly, that expensive. Um, I, I'll look up. I'll, well, I'll post the link, because I don't remember how much these were. I thought they were, like, this was, like, 30-something, maybe, and then this was, like, 20 or something. I'm not sure, but yeah. Okay, I don't even need powder. Like, sometimes I like, at certain foundations I won't use powder because it tends to make me more oily because it's like depriving my skin of moisture. I don't even need a powder for this. Like, I genuinely don't need powder because it's just, it's set. Like, it's, it's set. But like, if she said it might have like an oily like finish to it at first, but then it'll set. It doesn't even have that, like... I guess it just depends on your skin, but it doesn't even have that. It's it's good to go. Which this would be awesome for like if you're in a hurry, literally if you were in a hurry, this would be amazing to just like and wipe all over your face. Like it's perfect for that. Um, I am gonna um, go ahead and do like my eyebrows and stuff because I am going to get lunch with my mom and stuff in a little bit and my grandma's. So I'm gonna do the rest of my face just so I'm good to go. And then I have volleyball later. Oh, I wonder. So I was going to do, like, just post this video, but I think, and then, like, do, like, how this lasts, like, afterwards, but I think we're going to do, like, a three-step thing, okay? We're going to see how long it lasts, like, you will see it right now, the first impression, and then after my lunch with my mom at, like, right now it's, like, what time is it? So right now it's 11.48, I'm getting lunch with my mom um, after her appointment at 2.30, um, then I'll show you guys how this looks then. 
and then how my makeup is still holding up and then after volleyball it's gonna be dark out but like I can I can get some lighting somewhere from somewhere so I'll show you guys my impression of it after like volleyball and we'll see that'll be the true tale it'll that'll be the true like that'll tell us so I still have I have the lip product to try too so we are gonna I'm gonna do the rest of my face I'm just gonna do my eyebrows and I'm not gonna touch my foundation this is gonna be I'm not gonna use powder I'm just gonna leave it as it is okay and then um, I'm gonna I'm gonna do the rest of my face and then show you what I think of the lip product okay okay BRB okay I'm back all right so so far, so good. Um, I will say that when I was doing my foundation, or not my foundation, when I was doing my rest of my face, um, if I did rub a little too much in certain spots, it did kind of rub away a little bit. So I'm thinking this is probably going to be one of those that um, definitely is better set with a powder. So I'm going to go ahead and um, use just a setting powder. This is just a... I'm going to use my e.l.f. one. This is the... Elf High Definition Powder, and I'm going to use that and just set my face all over really lightly, nothing heavy. God, this shit gets everywhere. Do you see that? So I'm just going to lightly set my face all over with that, um, just because I definitely think it's one that you do need to set your face with, so we'll definitely do that, which for me, very, very few foundations that I've used I don't need powder with. I think literally like one Maybelline one and I think my Marc Jacobs one are like the only ones I can think of that I haven't needed to set it with with like a little bit of powder so I'm not gonna bake or anything I'm just gonna just set it all over I did do um a cream contour by the way because I don't like using um powdered products on top of like something that hasn't been set. So I used a cream product, like a cream foundation. I'm not gonna use like a cream or a powder contour on top of it without at least, you know, getting it to the right consistency with some powder, so. All right. So it really, honestly, it didn't change like the um, finish of it. It, already, it had a really nice finish and the powder honestly didn't really change that too much, so that's good. God, I really freaking like it, to be honest. But we'll have to see later. That's when we'll really know. So, and how long it lasts. Um, uh, now, no, I'm really, okay, so I'm going to definitely, after I eat, is when I'm going to be like, whether this is like the thing or not. So, okay, so there we go. There's the packaging for the lip product. Can we fucking focus on it, please? There's the packaging for that. This is the Enduring Lip Color, and this is in the shade Macaroon, right? I think I got it in the shade Macaroon. Let me see. Yep, Macaroon. All right, it's a liquid lipstick, which I love. So, okay. They are a matte finish. Let's see how I like it. Ooh, did you see that? That's like really pretty. The packaging is nice looks expensive good hmm I always smell I smell products all the time why am I not focused oh my god I'm gonna freak out. oh there it goes okay I smell stuff all the time this smells like I smelled the foundation too you just didn't see me do it uh in the concealer it doesn't have a scent so I mean that's good for people who don't like things to have a lot of scent. My chair's up higher. That's better. Okay. Um, but this oh, reminds me of something. I don't know what though. It smells like cupcakes or something. I don't know. Something like that. But like a little different than that. Ready? Fire! All right. There it is on the bottom. Let's see again on the top. Oh 
Ooh, look at that color. I like it. So it's definitely super pigmented, I'll tell you that much. Whew. It goes on super creamy. It's really velvety. Oh, look at how nice it makes my lips look. We need to let it set, obviously, because um, sometimes they can be a little deceiving. They'll be really good when they go on, but then all of a sudden they start getting all cracky and stuff. But we'll see about that. Wow, it's super comfortable. Usually, like, by the time, like, my NYX ones, like, the lip lingerie ones, um, those get, like, super dry right away, and all of a sudden I feel my lips just... Everybody else says it doesn't, like, feel like that, but, like, to me, it does. I think you lying. But this is, like, really comfortable. Okay, so it definitely has dried to a matte finish. It's totally dry now. And it's not getting all cracky. Look at how, look at how, look at... Look at how... Look at it. My eyelashes look funny. Oh my god, I have a terrible attention span. Why does my eyelash look funny? Like, right here in the corner. Does it look like it's sticking out weird? Should make the other one match it. Okay, anyway. I like this freaking color. I do. I really do. Makes my lips look full. I'm feeling this. We're going to leave this on after lunch and we're going to see, I'm going to let you know throughout the day how this is working out for me. So, so far so good. Um, I definitely think for the foundation though, I definitely think uh, using a powder is best with it, but I'm using an e.l.f. one, which is I think is like $6. So I mean, any, I think powder is going to work for it. So yeah. Also, I think hell froze over because I didn't use the dip brow on my eyebrows. Like I normally do, so. Okay, anyway, more about Elcone. So, so far so good. We're going to see how the day progresses with this stuff. Um, I definitely, I love the applicator on this thing. It's just like a normal doe foot, but it's bigger, and it comes to a point. Like, kind of, I don't know how to explain it. Um, it's just, it's kind of bigger than a normal applicator, I think in my opinion. I don't know. I might be lying. I don't know. I think it's bigger, but I like it. Oh my god, don't put more on. I am so tempted. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go and go to lunch with my mother, and I'm gonna do my volleyball later, and after that, all that and stuff, I'm gonna, I'm gonna record in between that so you guys can see how my makeup is. The volleyball one's gonna be kind of hard because it's gonna be dark out, so I'm gonna have to find some good lighting, but I'm not going to be coming back here to my little studio area. So, yeah. All right. I think we're good. And I'll let you know more about what I think later. All right, you guys. So, I am... Oh, what time is it now? Oh, God. Sorry, my eyelashes. I just got done eating and... My camera's like not focused and my eyelash looks really fucking weird still. Um, so I just got done eating and it's 5.45 so I've had this on since 11 something. And so far so good. Um, I am getting a little bit oily but the makeup like isn't breaking up or anything. Um, it's just kind of like dewy. It doesn't look like oily or anything. It just looks dewy. Um, but I have, I do have really oily skin and I didn't use a primer or anything. And I know it's recommended to use the primer so... I mean, it probably would be a little bit better if I would use the primer and, like, the setting spray, which is usually always recommended anyway, but, um, no, it's definitely, like, really good coverage, and as far as my lips, um, I do still have some pigment on there after eating. Oh, God. <laughs> so, I do still have, uh, pigment on there after eating. Why is my camera not focusing? There it goes. Um which is actually really impressive. I did not touch up my makeup and I did not touch up my lips like not even once. Um, my makeup has not oxidized at all, which is definitely a plus. So yeah, um, I guess we'll see how it looks after volleyball and, but so far definitely really good. Um, I might just have to touch up with like a little bit of powder if it gets too oily, but 
uh, that's not bad at all for as long as it's lasted. I have ones that get oily within like an hour. So definitely it's been, how many hours is that? So 12, 11, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, It's like five or six hours. I don't, I don't do math. Okay, um, but no, I definitely am impressed. Um, I'm just, yeah, little oily, but it's not breaking up or anything. And I've touched my face a couple times, which it's my own fault, but. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it, dude. So uh, I'm gonna put. I'm gonna reapply my lip stuff because I did eat. So uh, yeah, we will see. We will see. But so far, I am impressed, and I definitely think if you have dry skin, this is gonna be like amazing for you. And even if you have oily skin, I think just using a primer and maybe just having to touch up with powder maybe once is probably all you might need. But even so, I think this would definitely be good. So all right, I will. See you after volleyball and give my final verdict. Okay. Bye. All right, so I think we have our final verdict. There we go, it wasn't focused. Um, so I just uh, got back from playing volleyball. It is now, I don't have my phone. It's, it's 10 o'clock, like, cause it was 9.30 on my way home. So it's definitely 10 o'clock by now. And I definitely still have plenty of foundation on my face. Um, it's rubbed off on my nose a little bit from where I was like rubbing my nose and it isn't like nasty oily though. Like, and I never, after that um, last video, I didn't touch up my face with powder again or anything. So this is pretty good. I was sweating balls out there. Um, my lip stuff is off, but I ate again and I was drinking some. So yeah, um, I think, yeah. I'm totally down with this. Me gusta. I'm gonna give it a go with um, primer. I think I'm gonna use like a primer or something and maybe like I might order like their setting spray and primer and stuff and see how I like that. But um, as far as just a, whew, as far as just a foundation like by itself and the concealer and the lip product, I definitely give it a thumbs up. Totally worth the money. I, I really like it, especially like the fact that it makes you look photoshopped without being photoshopped so all right I think that sums up this video I hope you guys enjoyed it also if you guys wanted to order any of these products um, I will post the link Oops, sorry there's like a dog hair or something on my lens um, if you guys want to order this um, go through the girl that I got it from um, her name is Amanda Belden and she's not one of those that's gonna be like pushy or anything like she like didn't bother me at all and that's the type of person like I like to buy stuff from is the one who doesn't bother me and I come to them so that's why I'm like okay yeah we'll give this a go so yeah let her know if you want to uh look into this and I will post the link below so you can order and check out the products so I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you in my next video okay also let me know if you want to see more videos like this